Do we have a great Bigfoot movie? Uh, yes, Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> Fine film. John Lithgow, Shakespearean train. Yes. That's where he saw the career go. There are many topics and <laughs> concepts we are all familiar with, but aren't exactly sure how they work. Each week, Alan Fitzgerald and I choose a topic and try our best to explain it. This is Explaining Things. All right, welcome back to another episode of Explaining Things. As always, I'm your host, Jonathan Tilson, with my co-host, Alan Fitzgerald. I'm Alan. How would you find Bigfoot? Oh. Bigfoot. He's at large. You, you're right. This is our most important episode This ever. is the most important episode we've ever done. Uh, Bigfoot, the missing link. Fucking Sasquatch. First thing, bring an HD camera. Oh, that's really important. I was actually going to say, bring a dumb guy with a bad camera. Because <laughs> that's the best way to capture Bigfoot. Mountains. Mountains. Desolate places. Forests. Places where there's not another person to say, idiot, that was a dog. Oh, you got to go where he's been spotted. That's pretty easy. If you Googled right now, last Bigfoot sighting. Mm -hmm. It's going to say fucking, uh, okay, well, Jim Bob, blah, 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 yeah. said uh, in Wisconsin. Fuckhead skater. Exactly. <laughs> seen here drinking 17 Miller High Lights. <laughs> Looking through a telescope backwards. <laughs> does, does Skeeter have any credibility? Yeah. Can I, can I, do I even bother with where Skeeter thought he saw him? Is the diabetes making his vision bad, too? That, that, I mean, that's a better way to see Bigfoot. Two gray eyes. You can find Bigfoot, my friend. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to do it right I'm there. I'm your wife. Oh, oh. Yes. Mental note. I didn't fuck Bigfoot last <laughs> week. If Bigfoot really did exist he's long gone so bigfoot was not supernatural no and, and if he wasn't supernatural and there was only one bigfoot we're saying lifespan of i don't know 40 years i mean how i know what's he gonna live to 96 what kind of health care does bigfoot get <laughs> bigfoot sprains an ankle he can't catch his meals yeah yeah what are his meals by the way deer comes to mind Deer, yeah. Can't be moose. Bigfoot doesn't eat bears. No, God, no. Bears are like, yeah, keep walking, jackass. <laughs> you, you go to a very rural area, okay? Uh, the fucking education system has to be awful wherever you are. Just you, a bottle of moonshine. And a single-use camera. Yes, bang. Also, for some reason, you have a Bigfoot suit, but um, <laughs> never mind that. I watched a documentary where in eastern Massachusetts, suburbia, uh, a couple people thought they saw Bigfoot. Who the fuck are you to think Bigfoot is just living yeah. in the fucking cul-de-sac? I saw Bigfoot in a Starbucks. I think he was trying to order a grande iced macchiato, but he was just pounding his fists. <laughs> what would happen if we found Bigfoot? Um, if we found Bigfoot, let's see, he'd probably be captured, unfortunately. Groups to save Bigfoot. Yep. Groups to catch Bigfoot. Women who want to fuck Bigfoot. Bad uh, boy. Oh, absolutely. Like the kind of woman that, like, gets engaged to a prisoner she's never met. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we found Bigfoot, the first thing we're going to do is, like, all right, let Bigfoot be. But one of us has shifty eyes. One of us sees a business plan. Mm. One of us sees an opportunity. Mm -hmm. We'll never know which one. Sure, I look like the one that would, but it could okay. be you. Do you think we can catch him with beef jerky like they do in the commercials? Absolutely. We'd be camping. We'd have beef jerky. Yeah. I don't think we'd have a raw T-bone steak. I would love to see a movie where the set is making fun of people who believe in Bigfoot, like Appalachian people, like, these guys are so ignorant. Drink your moonshine, bud. Like, all right, you're going to see. You're going to see. It's almost like a children's movie where, like, you have to do something to see them. It's like, no, no, no. Another shot of moonshine. Nope, one mm. more, you're going to see Bigfoot. See, by the way, you better see Bigfoot in the first 20 minutes, because you're going blind. Bigfoot at... comes right before blind. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get stuck on Bigfoot. <laughs> Have another shot, quick. We're going to need someone to lead, to guide us. Yeah, you need like, guides. But, you but, also need backing somehow. you got to talk to someone really rich and stupid. But I think at first it's just us. We're on our own. We're looking for Bigfoot. So we, we need enough proof to find the millionaire to back us. All right, so we need a trank gun, just in case Bigfoot comes at us. We don't want to capture him, but what are we going to do if he comes at us? Elephant trank. A little less than that. Gorilla Trank should do the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd get two just in case. Just in case. Yeah. I'm not a great shot. We need a guide because we're going to go to the middle of nowhere. We have to befriend our guide. If anyone's going to fuck us over, this is a golem situation yeah. right here, okay? The guide is not showing us where Bigfoot might be because he doesn't believe in Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. He believes in it more than we ever could. It might even be a god in his community. So we have to make sure we trust him. Because if we go by ourselves, I feel like, I feel like we're going to be... Just lost in the... I oh, see a deliverance situation. I, I was also going to say, what's that Wes Craven movie where those mountain people fuck the shit out of us? Or maybe Bigfoot rescues us. This is the thing. We don't know enough about it. We don't know Bigfoot's nature. Yes, we don't. He, he could be a good guy. Yeah. Also could be dead. We're trying to figure this out here. But Bigfoot's more realistic than the Loch Ness Monster, right? By far. It's at least a, a, like a mammal kind of thing. I mean, you can't trust the Scottish, let's be honest. What do you call the uh, Scottish again? The trans-Irish. <laughs> yes, of course. With their little skirts. <laughs> 
<laughs> that always makes the Irish laugh. <laughs> you have to assume everyone is out to get you. Yes. Either the locals know him and want to protect him, okay, or her, or her. We yeah. don't want to gender Bigfoot. No, we don't. I've seen the X Files. The locals are helpful to a point. Oh, you looking for Bigfoot, huh? Ah, oh, last man looking for Bigfoot. He ain't come back, but yeah, yeah, sure, I'll help you out. We gotta set up cameras. That's the way to really do it. And have a base camp, but we're just looking. Either we're just hikers, as far as the locals know, yeah. or we work for National Geographic. Yeah. Excuse me, uh, why are you setting up cameras here? Are you looking for Bigfoot? Uh, no, we're just uh, filming the world's shittiest episode of Planet Earth. We don't believe in Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. That's silly. Anyway, um, mm. you ever seen this footprint before? We're not capturing Bigfoot. <laughs> God damn. It's insane. No one can do that. Honestly, if I actually see Bigfoot, I'm putting shit in my pants and I'm running. I'm not even taking a picture. It might as well be Santa. <laughs> might as well be fucking Santa. Yes, yeah, a Santa who can fucking bench press 900 pounds. I'd have to see him first. That's right, yeah. I mean, Bigfoot could be a pussy. He could be like, guys, leave me alone. Depressed Bigfoot, <laughs> just staring at his fucking paws. I'm the last Bigfoot. I'm, oh. just, I'm so sick of deer. Also, I don't know how to cook because I'm a stupid ape thing. <laughs> I haven't even discovered fire yet. <laughs> When it's dark, it's just dark. <laughs> when it's cold, it's just cold. <laughs> That's the problem with Bigfoot. There are no Bigfoot reported deaths. Why hasn't that happened? Uh, it probably has, and they're like, all right, you're going to jail. Oh, out alone in the woods with your buddy. <laughs> yeah, sure. Someone with size 24 Shaquille O'Neal shoes yeah. stomped him out. Oh, I believe yeah, you. yeah, nine feet tall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have blood on your axe. That's Bigfoot blood. I tried to stop him. Yeah, we're not even going to test that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring some beers and cigarettes for Bigfoot. Bring some beers and cigarettes for yourself and for Bigfoot. Yeah, that's how you can get him to trust you. I really think what it is, can I, let's just fucking say it. We danced around this. Get really fucked up and have a fucking dull lens on your camera, and you're going to find some Bigfoot. <laughs> Throw some mushrooms in there. Mushrooms are probably the key to Bigfoot. Yeah. That's when he just fucking appears, mm -hmm. and you're just fucked up staring at a pine tree with a yeah. fucking lens in the dark. Moonshine, crystal meth, bad LSD, that's going to show you some Bigfoot. You're hard on cash. You, yeah. You really fucking, you need this picture to work. <laughs> You wake up the next day, it's clearly a rock. <laughs> I'm still poor! <laughs> God damn it. Then you have to move into a cave. Yeah. And then you, and you, then you you're become unkempt. Bigfoot. That's a Bigfoot. <laughs> that's the cycle of Bigfoot. You look for Bigfoot, it doesn't work out, you, you get look, off the grid. You look for him long enough, you become Bigfoot. Well, Everyone's always making fun of me because I was looking because I believed in Bigfoot. Now I am him. You can't talk anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I think you all learned as much as we just did. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, don't forget to tune in next week. I'm Jonathan Tilson. Alan Fitzgerald. Bye, guys.